Welcome back guys, um, my name is Sobi, for those who don't know me, I'm a web developer and uh, recently I started my channel about programming and um, in the next few sessions we will uh, uh, build an API project uh, which we've already started, this would be episode 5 and uh, today I'm gonna talk a bit about my uh, tools that I use and um, I will start it with uh, the xDebug. Uh, often I use debugging uh, until now, like one year, I believe. I've used a lot of uh, DDs and die and dumps in my coding or console logs in JavaScript. But um, lately I found it very useful to use it, uh, use the xDebug tool. It's, it's, it's a great tool. tool and um, it helps me a lot. So this also works in Tinkerwell, which is a great software uh, where we can test our applications and uh, test different areas of our code. So let's dive in together into xDebug, how I did the setup in uh, Docker and uh, how I did my setup in PHPStorm. So let's dive in in this together. Okay, so um, first let me open my settings of the IDE. As you can see, I have the xDebug installed and I have the, I've created a server which communicates with my uh, Docker. This is the file directory in my uh, local machine and this is the Docker, the absolute path on the server. This um, works by defining uh, the following in my docker file so i use this id config server name which is xdebug server and debug one so this starts my debugging also for this to work um, i've made the settings in my php storm and also in the docker and also i uh, found a new script uh best script uh, from from Karsten Windler .de where I can run a simple command and activate or deactivate uh, xdebug on my uh, virtual machine and on my container so let me just show that to you okay let me open the terminal and I have this xdebug disable and uh, it's disabling my uh, xdebug and restarting my server and I want to enable it again okay good and uh, let's see if we open first we let's do a breakpoint for example I want to stop at the user uh, execution so let's see if we launch this automatically my browser's uh, my id stops and waits for my next step for example i can press f8 and go to the next line and the interesting thing is that the the project of the code it's waiting for me to do the next line execution but also i can do some inspections or evaluations let's me let me show you for example, inspect. I can open all the details of my uh, model in this case, correct? But also I can do some evaluations. For example, I can evaluate an expression. Let's get the name. Okay, I've got the name. Let's get the ID or anything. Also, we can get the address if we have some addresses also you can see I have one address and uh, this is a great tool for testing and to see uh, every step where my code is also we can press the F8 and go to the next line and also we can enter further if we want to with F7 and enter into the main classes which uh, Laravel supports for us and, and go step by step into the code Okay, and I will end up in my own 
API response. And it finished. So the code has run, but I have a timeout because of my web server configuration. Let me just close this. User controller and take out the breakpoint and run again. And it's working. Great. So uh, this is what I use mostly for debugging. And also this works when you write a code in the uh, in the thinker well and um, this this is a great tool for example how I, s I do some testing sometimes let's see one second let's comment this out see from controller is new user controller and my code has start stopped because I have a setting here in the debug. Okay. Let's see again. Good. Let's see. Okay, and let's see. Show ID. For example, let's see. So we get the name namespace. Okay. And let's put a breakpoint. And my execution stopped. So this is a great tool to test it out and do all kind of testing. Also, do you have a console uh, where you can write, uh, for example, user name also but uh, you can do uh, user update name testing debug okay and I've got the response from the server and if you're checking the database it's everything updated so this is my small um, introduction to xdebug and how to set it up. I will uh, publish all the doc configurations to our server, to, to the GitHub, sorry. And uh, there you can find all the repositories and all the code that I'm writ writing. And also these tips, I hope they will help you in your uh, future um, pipeline of work and in your future um, developments. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers.